two more freaking days until Yankee baseball in the World Series begins out in Los Angeles. Welcome in to Evan and Tiki. Sean Morris, Tiki Barber here. Evan and Lugie will join us at some point either very soon or within this afternoon. Congratulations to Craig Carton, New York Broadcasters Hall of Fame, getting inducted today. Evan oh, went that's out That's what it was. Park. I thought they were just skipping work. <laughs> no, that's what Evan did yesterday. That's what Evan did yesterday. Yeah, but it, congratulations, Craig. That's an awesome honor. Awesome, Well-deserved. Awesome Absolutely well-deserved. So a lot of the crew went out there. I know the morning show was out there, so having a, uh, a good afternoon there. But Evan, I think, is going to come back in. Is he healthy off yesterday's day off? Mm -hmm. We have no idea. <laughs> but if he's not, everybody at this Hall of Fame induction, enjoy the next week of being sick. <laughs> now, that being said, David Stern spoke today. We'll get into plenty of that. I can't wait for Evan to come back and hear some of these clips. Wouldn't be so quick to think you're getting Juan Soto, Mets fans. Obviously, the Knicks suffered just a brutal game one loss, but it is just one of 82. Nice yeah. shot, Mikel Bridges, in the first half. There were some silver linings, but silver linings. not a ton of them. No, hard to be positive, Tommy. Today, we'll check in with him. But of course, though, we have to begin two days away with the World Series. And for anybody out there wondering, looking, stressing out, clicking over and over again, oh, how do I tell my wife? How am I going to spend this money on World Series tickets? <laughs> Don't worry. Listen here on Friday. Boomer and Geo, Sal, BT, and of course, us here on Evan and Tiki. We were all giving away tickets to the World Series on Friday. So you're going to want to keep it locked here. But with the World Series on my mind, Tiki, mm -hmm. and we yet talked yesterday, yesterday, Nestor Cortez, what the Yankees do with their pitching. I, I kind of indicated, unless I full-blown said it, I do think deep down, as it lays days away, that the Yankees are going to lose this World Series. I hope that's not the case. And again, card subject to change as I continue to get revved up. That's just what my inner gut was telling me. What I didn't know or what I didn't think about until I woke up this morning and heard Brian Cashman, of which we'll hear from a little bit, is that forget what I think is going to happen. What needs to happen? The Yankees need to win this World Series. Why? Why? What did Cashman do? Well, Brian Cashman was on High Heat on MLB Network with our old buddy uh, Mad Dog Russo yesterday. Mm -hmm. And he did something in talking about the Yankees going to the World Series that drove me nuts. Because he did something that I would do, that maybe BT would do, <laughs> that maybe McMonagle or Keith would do, any of the great Yankee fans we have at the station. He referenced missing out on a championship already because of the cheating Astros. Let's hear what he had to say. I hate that 15-year thing because I don't think it accurately reflects history. But regardless, we're proud to be where we are now. Um, I think, without a doubt, our baseball ops, our organization led by our owner, House Timer, and I think we put a championship-caliber team out on the field every year that you can dream big things on. And uh, and this year's version has happened to punch through so far, and hopefully we can take advantage of it by winning four more games. Mm -hmm. Now, hold on. The 15-year thing yeah. he's talking about is both winning a World Series... And being there. And yeah. being in a World Series. Yes, 2009. So if he's going to talk about being in the World Series, then maybe I can hear it and be like, yeah, you know, you're probably right, those stupid cheating Astros. If he's talking about winning a World Series, come on. Just because you got <laughs> cheated out in the ALCS, at least allegedly, mm -hmm. um, because I don't know if uh, Manfred uh, actually handed down the right punishment, right. whatever. It's just let's, a piece of metal. It's just a piece of metal. Let's just, let's just say that you, you still had to win the damn thing. You're right, and we will never know if they weren't cheating what happened. But I, I can't stomach that from my general manager but ahead of this World Series. Who team. cares? Who he cares? cares. That's the problem. But why does he care is the question. And it's and it's and it's not something in a testy interview. It right. wasn't like he dropped it casually. He dropped it casually because I, I'm assuming I didn't hear Mad Dog's question. I'm assuming Mad Dog's question was, oh, "You made it here for the first time in 15 that was years." It. Nice fluff question. Has it feel to be back? So he for preemptively years. It goes out of his way to bring it up and say the 15 year thing bothers me because you know of what happened there with the Astros. He cannot, as the general manager, keep harping on this. <laughs> no. The 2024 Yankees have had an incredible run, but a run yes. that I officially, as a fan. We'll never forget, and that doesn't mean it's finished yet. But if you, the general manager, are thinking the same way Bob from Bayside is thinking, <laughs> that's a problem. Because here's the other problem with this, Tiki. Who did the Astros beat in that cheating World Series? Do you remember? No, I don't. The Dodgers. Oh. Now, yes, Otani wasn't there. Oh. Yes, Yamamoto wasn't there. Yeah, a little coincidence. <laughs> Also, Juan Soto and Jazz Chisholm weren't here, so they are separate teams. He's a, this is a different Yankee team. It's a much different Dodger team. But if you're still thinking that the Yankees got robbed of a World Series as the general manager, not as a fan of the team, 
That just tells me in this World Series, facing the team the Astros did face, at least the franchise, the Yankees need to win this because they need to stop worrying about the damn Astros. Right, yeah, they need if if the Yankees win this World Series and Brian Cashman brings up t- 15 years ago again, then he needs to be immediately fired oh. for for negligence of what's going on right now. Right. This is why I hate history. Sometimes, I mean, history is informative. It tells you about certain aspects of life or sports, uh, etc., or individuals to be more specific. But history has nothing to do. With the 2024 New York Yankees. Correct. It has absolutely no bearing on how Juan Soto and Glaber and Judge and Stanton and and Garrett Cole and everybody else are going to play in this this World Series. In fact, I mean, maybe Aaron Judge thinks about it. Maybe. 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 But very few of them are going to think about the Astros. And so to bring it to the front, to the forefront of consciousness on the – Eve of Eves of the World Series makes no sense to me. It it just, Cashman missed the mark. There's no other way to say it. He missed the mark by bringing this up. I felt this way at the time, Tiki, and you're right. Sensible minds would tell you they still don't win the World Series. I felt as a fan the Yankees got robbed. Many people did. It was a big deal and a big story. Aaron Judge, you know what he hasn't said to a microphone this entire (laughs) year? He hasn't brought up the Astros. Every time Evan and Tommy tried to coax us into, don't you want to finish the story? Don't you want to beat the Astros? You said it. I said it. It doesn't matter It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to me. This is so far gone past this now, and it's a new Yankee, still part of the Yankee core, but it's still a new Yankee core when you consider some of these guys I brought up. Soto and obviously, uh, you know, Jazz and, and go on and Volpe and go on and on. It's a different kind of team. Well, who was who was there? I mean, well, I, Stanton was there. Judge Stanton was there. Judge was Glaber. Stanton was there, right? Um, see, this is the problem. Glaber was there. That was his first right, year. Right. And this so, is the problem. That's the thing. It's nobody who it's cares. It's so far gone now. <laughs> exactly. The general manager cannot have the Houston Astros <laughs> and their cheating 2017 season on his mind when being asked about the 2024 Yankees. It's done. It's finished. Nothing's changing that. It's just like getting a Heisman trophy taken away. You know the guy still won the Heisman. It's just like having an NCAA banner taken down because guys were getting uh, illegal massages and car washes. <laughs> we all saw it happen. The Astros won that World Series. Get over it, right. Cashman. I, no, I, Flip the page because we have. I remember back in that, that 2017, I actually was mad about it. I was too. Just because it, just how egregious the cheating was. Right. So I was mad about it, and then I wasn't even as as huge of a baseball consumer as I as I have become in the last five or so years. But I remember just thinking about the magnitude of the cheating that annoyed me. It just yeah. pissed me off. But to use it as the I don't know the uh, the the flag to wave of why we weren't. Okay, go the next year, or go the following year, or the year after that, 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 and now, now you're up to yeah. seven. Now you're to now, right? What, what, like, why all those intermediate? What happened those other years? Exactly. Somebody they else were crap shoots, team. remember? They were crap shoots. And Tiki, this is also what bothers me. And the Yankees. I wonder if it bothers a Yankee fan. Well, and that's where I want to find out at 888-808-1019. Should Brian Cashman still be bringing up the Astros But does here? a fan think, does it bother the Yankee fan? Well, it should because our focus shouldn't be on that. And Tiki, look at that banner next to you. Look yes. at, what does that say? It says A-Rod Day. I love A-Rod. Thank you for the 2009 World Series. Who's kidding who? Are we sure the 09 World Series was a clean one for the Yankees? <laughs> no. With the Phillies two years ago when they made the World Series, did anybody in Philadelphia go, oh, you know, it shouldn't have been that long a drought that we forget 09, A-Rod and everything? No, they don't. No. You cannot have that loser mentality when your team is in a World Series and so worried about, well, it shouldn't be a 15-year drought. You're here now. Right. You're here now. 2017 is dead. It's buried. Don't sit there as a general manager and have that in your brain, your processing. The best way to build a team to keep moving this forward is to throw that crap out. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I thought this was a real blemish on the Yankees ahead of this World Series that I didn't need as a well, fan. It's an unnecessary reminder. Yeah, of, what, we're leading a show of, with of, it. of history. Yes, it doesn't matter to this team, and maybe there's a couple of guys again that it matters to, but most of them it will not matter to at all. They won't even think about it. No. In fact, they're probably boys with some of those guys on that Houston of Astros course. team. I'm serious, and they probably know. Yeah, right. They get right. it. They understand. It is what it is. You're not cheating. You're not trying. Type of thing. They get. They got caught. So you're, right. Granted, granted, there was no penalty, but still, they got caught. 
And look, he wasn't on the 17 team, but he joined the Astros shortly thereafter. The Yankees had no problem signing Garrett Cole, who was in that clubhouse. <laughs> right. Helping him, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on. It's absurd. So anyway, that's where we begin. Brian Cashman bringing up the Houston Astros. And well, 2017, I hate bringing up the 15 years. The 15 years does exist. And as Tiki alluded to, there are plenty of other years for the Yankees to get here. And they are here. It's now two days away from game one in freaking Los Angeles. Start focusing on the Dodgers if you're Brian Cashman and stop worrying about the damn past. 888-808-1019. Anthony in Westchester. Anthony, what's up? You're on Evan and Tiki. What's going on? What's up, guys? So this whole Cashman thing, I mean, I'm arguing with my buddies about it too right now. <laughs> the reason the Yankees really lost in 2017, if people actually want to look at stuff, yes, Houston did cheat. Do you guys know how many runs the Yankees scored in the four games in Houston in 2017? Uh, I forget. Three. See, okay, three. They, they scored Anthony, three. See, Anthony, you just teed us up. Guess who forgot? Me and Tiki. Because right. Cashman should be forgetting that. <laughs> exactly. exactly. The offense went cold. Besides the fact, why are we even talking about this? Why is Cashman bringing this up? It's been 15 years. We're in the World Series. MLB got exactly what they wanted after last year getting yep. Arizona and Texas. We should be looking forward. Look at the offense now. They're still not even clicking on all cylinders. That's the scary part. See what happens starting on Friday. Forget about 2017. Forget about 19. Forget about the crap shoots and the years we had Lyle Overbay, Travis Hafner, Chris Carter, guys who never should have been Yankees. Forget this stuff. Yeah, I mean, the challenge is, and appreciate your calling it, the challenge is, now we're all talking about 2017 or why we shouldn't be talking about 2017 instead of focusing on right now. And we don't need a distraction from this. This is, this is a big deal, right? right? This is one of the best Yankees teams in a long time from construction, pitching staff, even bullpen. It, even though there were some fits and starts across, throughout the season. They feel complete. They feel like a complete team. Right. Why are we worried about something right. that already happened? Right. And all those years, and he brought up the not hitting in the clutch. I don't know about you, Tiki. I saw a lot of freaking clutch hitting versus Cleveland in the I ALCS. Did too. Absolutely. And you know? Juan Soto was a perfect, yep. perfect guy. I mean, Stanton is another one who right. had the, he was the ALCS MVP. So it, it, it's all here. Yes. For the Yanks. It's all here. Yeah. Alex Verdugo, Anthony Volpe, they all weren't here. Brian Cashman, stop worrying about the past. Uh, Abe in Brooklyn. Abe, what's up? Hi, guys. Um, good afternoon, Tiki. What's up? Um, and, well, if, you know, it's funny you guys are talking about the Cashman, you know. I think you guys are right. I can't worry about 2017 anymore. Forget it. You know, it's, why do we care about 2017? What, why do they? Well, they if, we weren't, what? if we weren't here, if the Yankees weren't here, it would be relevant. Yeah. But the Yankees are here. Right. <laughs> so, That's it. The Astros aren't. The Astros are dead. Yes. Dead. And they probably. They are. And... No, you're right. They're dead. And we don't. Why do we care about what happened, what they're doing we now? We don't. Listen, we don't. We don't. And take the... care of them. And, and you know what? Thanks for the call, Abe. If Brian Cashman wanted to say this, if the Yankees lost to the Dodgers, we'd be even more furious because it's a loser mentality. He, again, he was teed up for a question that didn't have to have that answer. No. Right? It should have all been about this team. Yankee fans don't want to hear about the dead and buried past right now. That's it. No. And to me, my general well, manager thinking about that, I, I don't know why well, it just doesn't sit well with no, me. No, it doesn't because it also makes you it also makes you go back there. Right. And it gives the Yankees the complacency of excuses still too. Mm. Like, are him and Aaron Boone, have, this is what they've been collaborating on the past couple of years. Remember, you know, really, the Yankees got screwed in 2017. <laughs> like, that should be no top of mind here. It shouldn't be. And, especially especially yeah. now. And if you lose to the Dodgers this year, I don't want to hear about the Astros. I don't want to hear about 2017. Right. You got your chance. Right, because yeah. this is your chance versus the Dodgers. And I don't want to hear this is a better Dodger team, too. It's a better Yankee team. Absolutely is with Juan Soto and company. GK in Chestertown. GK, what's up? Hey, what's going up, guys? Um, the Cashman's making this bittersweet for me. I'm a Yankee fan. I've been a Yankee fan for a long time. The man is a bad GM at this point. This team is no, winning. No, he's a good he GM. Have, he's he's a, a good GM. Might, might Look, have I, have I haven't, I haven't liked this move. He messages, his, he messages things point, incorrectly, but he's a good GM. You can't point, say he didn't put together a good point, team this year, GK. They're in the World Series. He, I, I don't like this team. I mean, it's <laughs> <he's> all <laughs> what, what, Oh, hell on. Let's pause for a second. Forget what he said about Astros. Why do you not like this team? 
you know what? The team is winning in spite of him because the league is average. And just because the league is average doesn't make this team a great team. It, it is average to good at best. No, you're, I just mean, because you're playing. I can't, I, you're not telling a lie there. I mean, 90, what was it? 98 yeah, yeah. So, wins I mean, was the that's, number one. That's the plan. Okay. Hope the rest of baseball is bad and then hope your average team passes the finish line at oh, that point. That G- is a horrible plan. GK, first of all. Luis Hill, he found out of nowhere. Yeah. Okay. He finally seemed to have groomed another good starting pitcher in Clark Schmidt. He found Luke Weaver uh, on the off the, the scrap, heap, scrap heap. By the way, found Clay Holmes off the scrap heap as well. He did something. We're gonna have a grand offseason conversation. In fact, we'll talk about it a little bit with David Stearns about Juan Soto. Guess who was aggressive in getting Juan Soto in the building for this one year? Mm-hmm. Brian Cashman was. We all hate it, and I did too. What happened with Giancarlo? Guess what? He made the move for a guy who basically became Mr. October. Uh, I mean, they've brought up Austin Wells. I have been the vocal leader in the anti-Brian Cashman move. They are in the World Series on a roster that feels pretty complete. As much as he had a lot of misses here, yeah. this is a good Brian and Cashman by way, Don't forget, he traded for Jazz Chisholm yes! this year. Yes! The Miami team that was just sinking fast. Right. He's like, give me that guy. He's not perfect, and he's had a ton of flaws, and I think he's a big part of why the Yankees right. have had a 15-year drought. Right. But he's also a big reason the 15-year drought has ended. So let's be clear. We're not, we're not hitting at him as a GM. No. This isn't Brian Cashman stinks. This is... Brian Cashman doesn't need to be worrying about what yes. happened in 2017. Right. Let Again, let the guy in the ballroom argue with somebody from Houston on a business trip about that. <laughs> As we're days away from a Dodger World Series, the Astros should be the furthest thing from the Yankees' minds. It's a, I hate to bring this back to the Mets and everything we talked about yesterday with the parade. It's a loser mentality. It is. Hell, we tried to work the Astros into this yes. Yankee conversation a couple of weeks ago. Right. Like, who do we not want to face? Right. Who cares who, who we cares? have to face? Who cares? Whoever it is is going to be in the way. Kind of like the Royals were in the way, just like the Guardians and were now, in the way. And now I can't help but wonder if Brian Cashman wanted to face the Astro. <laughs> or whether he really wanted to avoid him. Because clearly, he was still well, thinking about they're not about cheating him. anymore. Yeah, I, don't I mean, think. we I mean, don't mean. think. You never know who is in baseball. <laughs> it's true. But again, you know, be a hypocrite. The number 13 hangs here in this studio <laughs> because of A-Rod Day. <laughs> 